Have you ever seen this kind of loss graph or this type of loss value while training a neural network? If yes, then you have already experienced exploding gradient problem. And if no, then let's understand it before you get stuck into it. Exploding gradient problem occurs when a large increase in gradients during training causes exponential growth in weights of neural network during back propagation and make the network unstable. Now, here are some signs of exploding gradient problem. The model weight will quickly become very large or in worst case it will become none or infinity. To be more precise, the gradient will always be greater than 1. There are number of parameters that can cause exploding gradient problem like not choosing right architecture of model or right activation function or appropriate hyperparameter like choosing high learning rate and so on. And there are number of ways to solve it like exploding gradient problem is bottleneck for recurrent neural network but using long short term memory or LSTM for short solve this problem in sequence learning. But in this video we will see how gradient clipping helps solve this problem. As the name suggests, gradient clipping is used to clip gradients during back propagation whenever they reach or go beyond defined threshold. Now there are two ways to use gradient clipping. Suppose if we have this gradient flowing during back propagation then you have already defined a threshold value of plus minus 1 means every value in the array which is greater than 1 or less than minus 1 will be set to 1 and minus 1 respectively. This method is called clip by value where any time any value in the error derivative greater than or less than threshold simply clip the value. But here's a problem. Changing few values in gradient leads to change and start gradients to point in completely different direction. So to fix this up, instead of clipping those values which are beyond threshold, just scale it between plus minus defined values, like in this case plus minus 1. In this way the direction of gradient won't change and this method is called clip by norm. But there will be problem again. While scaling, some values become too low and won't contribute much in weight updation. Unfortunately, there are no set of rules by which you can choose values. It's just all about trial and error. And that's all about gradient clipping. Stay tuned for more informative shorts.